close in probably like a week. So I'm in need of washing my crap. Or Alright, I'm about to be on Silver Pass uh, here in a little bit. Um, once again, the trail doesn't really exist at all, just like Donahue. Uh, this is what I've been dealing with. Lots of snow. I'm on Silver Pass right now, which is awesome. Here, look. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. It's home for tonight, yeah. I'm just outside of the Thomas Edison uh, Lake Junction. Um, I was gonna go to Bear Ridge tonight, but it was like all uphill. And I just figured I'd have an easy day. Uh, I think it was like, probably like 10 to 12 miles or something like that. But they had like a fire ring and all that, so I really like this spot. It's a pretty uneventful day. Um, tomorrow is going to be a long day, and then the day after that, I should be at the halfway point. Yeah, boy. All right, it's like 1:15 in the morning. Um, I made the fucking mistake of putting my little like water bladder thing by my head instead of by my feet like I normally do and I ended up rolling over top of it and completely drenched my sleeping bag. Like, it's worked. And I'm trying my best to squeegee out some of it, but uh, luckily it's pretty warm night. Tomorrow might be a layover day. <laughs> Just to fucking dry this. I mean, it's really, really bad. so stupid. Last night was pretty shitty. Uh, it seems to have dried out at least a little bit. I was really lucky that it wasn't that cold last night. Um, so that will be able to continue today. This is uh, Bear Creek. Um, it's the crossing. This is one of two really bad um, crossings I'm going to have to do. Pacamundo. I'm just about to be on Selden Pass. It's actually, it's not that bad. Yay! Um, talked to a lot of PCTers today, and uh, from what they said, the next big passes uh, after the Muir Ranch are ridiculous. This is my last, like, easy one, so I'm going to take it in, and I'm going to enjoy the out of it. I don't remember what lake this is called. And then Selden Pass, right up there. Guess what? I'm really close to the actual halfway point. I'm close to my food drop, son. 
And then after that, I'm taking a rest day tomorrow. After the rest day, then eight days and I'm done. Man, my feet are fucking killing me today. Like, I ended up going like 22 or 23 miles. I just I wanted to get here so then that way I kind of have a rest day. I've got like four or five blisters now. Shit sucks. Today's plan, I'm going to try to get everything washed and uh, get my food dropped, get my stuff charged, um, maybe get on the internet. And that's pretty much it. And then and the, after that, the next eight days are going to be really, really interesting. I'm on my way to resupply right now. Um, last night I ended up camping about half mile or so from the John Muir Ranch. And I got to get rid of most of the food that's in there because half of it was for Mike, which obviously he won't be needing it. Look what I've got. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's time to say goodbye to the John Muir Wilderness. Bye, buddy. And hello, Kings Canyon. Today's goal is try to get as close to Muir Pass as I can. Um, I'm going to try to hit it as early in the morning as possible. Probably around 7 a.m. Okay, well this is the second bad creek crossing that I have to do. Uh -huh. Much better. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Everybody made it out to be like super hard. Yeah, I told a ranger but a while ago and he told me just go about 20 yards up. Yep. Up, you know, it'll yeah. be only like knee deep instead of waist deep right there. Right. Bum, bum, bum. Guess what? It's raining again. I expected maybe one day of rain. This is now the third. Alright, well, my day just got a million times better. I just made it to Evolution Lake, and I'm blown away at how awesome this place is. There's Muir Pass. Right over there. Yeah. Just take a look at everything around here. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. It rained last night. I didn't really set up my tent correctly for that, so I pretty much got a flood in my tent right now. I mean, it rained really hard. All the way over here. Yay. 6.30 in the morning right now, and I've gotta get to Muir Pass before sun really comes out. I don't have much time, so I need to really, really speed things up. So there's three of the five passes that everyone keeps talking about. Muir, Mather, and Forrester. Mather and Forrester are the worst as far as snow. Muir is just bad because it's about seven miles of snow. I'm going to try to hit it as early as possible. It's already like 7.30 or something, so I'm already kind of hitting it late, but it's better than nothing, I guess, because usually I start at like 10 o'clock. All my shit is soaked, which sucks, but what can you do, really? My sleeping bag isn't wet this time, so I guess that's kind of good.
egg. It's completely frozen over still. It's awesome. Alright, if you look like right up there, you can see the Muir hut. Yes, son. I'm on top of Muir Pass right now. There's the hut right there. It is pretty cool. They weren't getting about all the snow. There's a shit ton of snow. It's an awesome area though. Sucks that I'm only like halfway through. I think my goal today is to get as close to Mather as I can. Heyo! Look at that. I'm home for the night. It was a long day, but it wasn't all that bad. Went over Muir Pass. When I was coming back down, I ended up jumping off a rock and jumped into some snow. Ended up getting one of my legs caught, and there just happened to be a ranger right behind me. She had to help me dig my foot out, but uh, beyond that, it was pretty good. It was a really long, really, really long day. I got a lot further than I thought, though, so I mean, that's a plus. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try to get Mather and I might try to do pinch out too, but uh, it's time to make dinner. It's like 7.30. I really just don't wanna move right now. I actually slept really good. I had some bizarro dreams though. I dream that uh, this fish was eating me in this taco. And I was cool with that, except I was upset that he was putting cucumbers and chili peppers in the taco. Today I'm gonna do Mather Pass, which is supposed to be kind of bad, I guess. It's supposed to be really steep and scary. Also, I'll show you my morning routine. Oh. I feel like I'm staying at like a four season resort. I'm so comfortable. That is all. First things first is sleeping bag. Hey. Uh. All right, next up, take the waterproof sack that I keep all my electronic stuff in overnight. And then I replace it with a probe like this. Now my next step is to get the rest of my crap out of my tent. All my electronics, papers, my pack, which makes an awesome little foot rest at night. And then I'm gonna break down the tent. goes sleeping bag and rain jacket in the bottom then dry sack and tent in the second layer then bear canister then this and then the rest of this crap slow today. The uh, lack of calories in my food is starting to catch up with me. I carry like less than a pound of food a day. I might be getting 2,500 calories if I'm lucky. That's probably an exaggeration. And I've been fine this entire time until 
today. I'm still not even close to the pass. The pass is up there. I've already had two breaks today. Usually I don't take breaks. If I do, they're like five minutes long and then I'm going again. It's gonna be a long, like four or five days for sure. Ugh. It's the weirdest feeling ever when uh, standing in like six feet of snow and it's like 90 degrees out. I'm sweating balls right now. There's really no trail right here. I need to get up there. It looks like a lot of snow. There it is. Yeah, yeah. I think this entire little area after Mather Pass has been my favorite so far. Probably doesn't look that great on camera. the fifth time I've had mac and cheese out here. I've pretty much got it down to a science. I boiled the noodles, got some powdered milk, mixed it in with the cheese sauce mix, a little bit of a uh, canola oil, pretty high in calories. Uh, it takes a while to boil though, so it takes a lot of fuel, but it's worth it. Any dinner that's cooked and isn't trail mix or something from peanuts, it's the best meal ever.